Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of the Bad Movie Night Podcast. My name is Chris. Tonight we are talking about the 1994 Ray Liotta classic, and that is, of course, No Escape. Escape! Ray Liotta. Such Back when you could just ball. kill stunt people. <laughs> Ray Liotta, good job, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a dummy, because there's no way you would fall from that far that and not a break real every person, Chris. That was Ray Liotta. You could no, see him. You could see that's where he got the idea for Turbulence, Chris. That was his career. It's, it's, it's weird that you guys brought up that that was Ray Liotta as a stuntman, because I thought a new section of the show could be, <clears throat> let's compare the stuntman to the actual actor. <laughs> Ooh, like Whoa. That. Mm. And that's the stunt man. Is that as Ray Liotta? Liotta? Oh, that's when he was falling down the mud. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that looks nothing like Ray Liotta. But we'll get into it. We'll unpack it. Um, so we are back. This was a Patreon pick. So we're still doing Patreon selections. And this was a Taylor Ann pick. I, wait, was it Taylor no, Ann? No, I'm no, not sure. No, Nick. A, no, maybe Nick. Nick T. Nick. Nick, Nick yeah. T. Okay. So. Sorry. I always say Taylor Ann because I feel like her movies always come up on the Patreon wheel. But no escape, which is. Uh, good that AJ's back because I know how much of a Ray Liotta fan he is. He mm, constantly mm. talks about his his VHS copy of uh, Ray Liotta. Narc or <laughs> no, it's Snake Eyes. Never mind, that's a Nick Cage movie being stolen. <laughs> um, Wait, but you also, wearing same, you wear the same fucking shirt. Too. Oh, look, I, I'm oh, duplicated. It's a different shirt. <laughs> that's a different shirt. Oh, okay. AJ, did you listen to last week's episode? <laughs> yeah, I did. Where we made fun of you the entire episode. That's what we do when we're not on, right? <laughs> fair enough. A good fair sport. enough. I expect good nothing sport. less. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Well, we missed um, you, man. But Lindsay will be, be back. back. Or she plans on being back next week. And so That's I'm very cool. excited for that. Things will return to normal. Um, we've missed her on the show. Ish. So. As normal as we can be. Well, we're not really normal. <laughs> um, man, did you guys see I posted like another podcast earlier in the Slack? And I was like, is this us? Because if this is us, I'm just quitting everything. Like, this is depressing. Uh, I, I don't know. They, oh, everything, every video had a clickbait headline. I didn't I didn't click them. Okay, yeah, we, we don't, don't do clickbait. clickbait. No, we just don't the do any kind of bait. The worst movie ever. No, We're that's, the worst that's kind CD. of bait. That's yeah. <laughs> Ray Liotta yeah. made this. If we wanted Colin to sell you Hanks. stuff. <laughs> it did kind of look like him, didn't it? If we wanted to sell you stuff, we'd sell you <laughs> NFTs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, we have a, uh, an exciting video coming up <laughs> talking about the NFTs that we're going to be releasing. You can, er you can own this one. You could have an NFT of each of our faces. <laughs> Once we learn what <laughs> NFTs are and, and how they work. Not so fungible tokens. Spiv, I don't... Spiv, you need you to get on blockchain. that. You got our blockchain. I know this. all about blockchain. Do you really? Yeah. It's Spiv, I simple, need but... you to take money and quickly turn it no. over. No. He's gonna I need money us. for my movie and I need it quickly <laughs> turned over. Can you make that happen or not? Do you like gambling? <laughs> Do you like losing <laughs> all of your money? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, there's better ways than throwing money Do you your like destroying like the environment by <laughs> wasting all right. 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 Yeah. You the, the better ways the are just like, are like <laughs> using my body on the streets to make money. I think mm. that's about the, my only options. Either I do crypto or I sell my body. It's up to you guys. <laughs> where, this is where we're at. You just go work at a corporation, so... Or Amazon delivery driver. And then you make money. <laughs> just become part of the problem. That's you could be a Grubhub driver. Well, Chris, no, it, it doesn't should. matter because in about two years, we're all going to be thrust onto this island penal colony and have to Why fight to survive. Why is everything perverted with you? Every word is like a euphemism. <laughs> thrust upon a penal? Like you, and you, I like was not intentional. <laughs> Definitely not intentional. Right before, before we started the show, we were talking about like going over to Spiv's house and helping him mountain or something. I don't remember what you were saying. But every, you have a dirty mind, as I guess is what Paying under the table. 
Paul says <laughs> that Ray Liotta smells like apples, and we will unpack that as Ooh, we go. Anyways, I feel like we've bantered long enough. I forgot that we weren't doing the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I yeah, honestly I did. I was, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm on the pre-show. Anyways, I'm sorry. Come on, uh, we, we started We need late, AJ so. to, to bring back our, our show here after <laughs> last week. Let's see if he can <laughs> top my premise from last week. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> AJ. <laughs> AJ, Low tonight. Bar. Low bar. We are talking about... There it is again, Eric. <laughs> and I'm not judging. Like you do, you. Like if you have a secret love for Spiv, that's cool. And it makes we a lot, very a lot of time together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't it's seen him there. in person in like years. Yeah, well, maybe once or twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah whose fault is that? Let's unpack that right here, right here. <clears throat> I, I'm I a horrible know friend. What love is. I want Spiv to show me. <laughs> Or blow me or something. To okay. bone me. Okay, there you go. All right, we got that. All right, AJ. No escape. The Ray Liotta classic. To Farner, Aaron. Uh, starring one Ray Liotta. Uh, classic Ray Liotta action. I know you're a big Ray Liotta fan. Number one Ray Liotta fan. Ray wow. Liotta. It's only right there. <laughs> Can you tell me what No Escape is about? Oh. A man convicted of murder mm. is sent to, to a prison wife. island to die. Eyes forward. Little does he know that two warring factions are fighting for control. It's my island. Can Ray Liotta escape this mega budget epic? From the Maybe. director of Casino Royale comes the 1994 really? island Golden epic, Eye. No Escape. Escape, 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 escape from Absalom. Rated R for just copying off a bunch of other movies. What? <laughs> Doing it well. Yeah. Stuff blowed up real good. <laughs> it blew up Lady those miniatures Oda. real good. <laughs> those miniatures, man. Awesome. All okay. right. Um, thank you, AJ. It's nice to have you back. Spiv did back. one last week, and it, it had, like, good parts, but it went on for, like, bad. literally 35 minutes. It was, like, a quarter <laughs> of the whole episode. It just kept going. longer than the actual well, movie last right. week. Put him on the spot. It's hard to do. I did put him on the spot. Yeah, you're always well prepared. I, I yeah, picture you spending bit. like an hour writing your little. I, I did this here. like ten minutes ago. Ten minutes. Okay. He, ten writes, minutes he writes his. So see, that's I'm getting better at it. You got, I get a rhythm and a style. You stick mm. to it. Yeah. Yes, but see, it's all about that rhythm and style. Mm. Dude, you could, uh, maybe been... you can show me your rhythm later yeah. on, there. It's just the rhythm of the night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just like making you uncomfortable, Chris. That's basically what we're having. <laughs> I think we're lucky that we don't have any actual like viewers and listeners and fans because I feel like if we actually ever like got any any people watch this more than the few we get that we would be canceled just like that. Why? I'm just saying because we say the worst shit, the most mm. inappropriate stuff all the time. It is true. <laughs> okay, you got me there. At least I don't have any rebuttal. <laughs> um. It's, it's synchronicity, though, that this guy directed Casino Royale, because I'm just going to throw out my, uh, one of yeah, my ultimate titles, movies. was Bunghole, Bunghole Royale, he and I don't so know why, oh, but it's synchronicity. Yeah. He did Vertical Limit, too. Remember that classic? Yep. Mm-hmm. He did uh, the sex it's like really? Cliffhanger for PG-13. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's done yeah. some good movies. Mm. Budget Cliffhanger. All right. Uh, time to move on, though. AJ, great premise hole. Time to move on, do the history hole. So let's take a moment, get up into Aaron's uh, little secret island. Is that what it was? I don't even fucking know. Anyways, and get it's a little a penal context. Island, from... Chris. Let's get up an Aaron's penal <laughs> island. <laughs> get a little context for the movie and the year it was released. I just keep spilling you keep this. Saying drink the wrong word. Everywhere. It's literally. Are you ready? For Aaron's history hole. No escape. <laughs> yeah. AKA the penal colony. Pretty good, Aaron. It's pretty good. Yeah. I saw when the movie started, it was like Escape from Atomos Five or something. Yeah, yes. yeah, well, Absalom. 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 That's the name of okay. that's the name of the, of the island. island. Yeah. yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'll yes. The title. Yes. This film was released on February twenty fourth, nineteen ninety four, in Uruguay, and then later on April twenty first, nineteen ninety four, in the United States. It was filmed in New South Wales, Australia. And had an estimated budget of about twenty million dollars, and it grossed roughly fifteen worldwide. Mm. Mm. Is that Ray Liotta factor? Not great. Uh, it's a shame. Yeah, 
If only yeah. he would have played a mob man in this. They, movie. I'm sure they made with, it back with TV on the and everything video game. else. Yeah, the, video, the video game, game would have brought in the money. The Genesis, weird or the, made a video game. the Genesis or the Super Nintendo one? Mm. There's only one, wasn't there? Or the Sega CD. I think it was just the. No, they canceled the Sega CD version. I know. They should have. Oh, those fools. They didn't know they had gold on their hands. <laughs> <laughs> I watched no the playthrough on YouTube. <laughs> of, really? Of, of the Sega Nintendo CD? One. Yeah, Nintendo. I watched it on Super uh, Nintendo. I was like, this yeah. doesn't look like a very good game. Have you ever played no. it before? No. No. Uh, I looked like it on Sega. What do you do in the game? Cover of it. I forgot about it until he was looking. You try to it. escape. Apparently you walk around punching people. But there is none. Yeah. You look like it, Indiana Jones. Uh, well, to me, do you remember Black Thorn? It kind of looked like that, where it was like, like a slur. Yeah, 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 sort of. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyways. I kind of see they, that. They modeled Ray Liotta really well in pixel graphics. Yeah, they, they did. <laughs> Got those eyes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You could spot those yeah. eyes from anywhere. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> These eyes. Do, 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 do. All right, so. I've seen a lot of things the fucking shit I don't think that's how that song goes. Whatever. <laughs> uh, all right, so some films released in February 1994. We have Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Oh, my God. Oh, classic. So not go in there. Yeah. Did you hear that there's a new one coming Somebody out? stop Ooh. me. Or is that it's it's not going to happen? No, that's the mask. Out, right? It's called Ace Ventura, Rent Detective. <laughs> uh, oh, that's too close. Uh, wah, wah, wah. All right, some other movies from that month. We have Romeo is Bleeding. The I don't remember Chow that. Chow Yun Fat or mm-hmm. not Chow Yun Fat, the Jet Li movie? No, I that's Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, that's Romeo must Fat. die. die. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, Romeo must die. Yeah, we have the getaway with My Girl Two. Uh, my, my Girl, girl. Two, classics. My girl. And like basically, anytime you're near this guy, you're on deadly ground. Oh, Steven shit! Ooh, He's that's, a that's game. one of his best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And finally, I don't the movie. recognize Romeo is bleeding at all. They have Gary mm-hmm. Oldman in it. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, it's probably good. Yeah, then. I don't know anything about it. Get the old man. And much like Young Spiff's, Spiff's first time, we have eight seconds. Oof. <laughs> uh, the bull riding movie. You would yes, know. Yes, exactly. About tough Hedeman. What was that? Tough Hedeman. <laughs> Who's in That's eight his seconds? Name. Who the hell's tough Hedeman? Oh, I don't know, Who's but I love that movie. Eight really? Seconds. Yeah, I never saw it. Eight seconds. Is it like movie? Roadhouse? Oh, it's like a bull riding movie. Okay. That's what she yeah. said. She just yeah, said that's that. Why I said I know, bull riding. I know. <laughs> like you don't listen. It's got Luke what? Perry and Stephen yeah. Baldwin. Rebecca, what no, about this that's is appealing to you? I don't know. I used to watch bull riding with my dad all the time, so we watched Eight Seconds. Oh, your dad was into okay. bull riding. Yeah, that's we went to bull ride mania at Hershey Stadium. <laughs> That's a thing? Something good. Okay. Heck yeah, it is. Dude, I just clicked in the show. Like 37 seconds into the trailer, Luke Perry gets his dick stomped on by a bull. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. That's that's why it's called eight seconds, Chris. Spoiler alert, he gets (laughs) gored at the end. Holy shit. (laughs) Right there. That's his... his... Yeah, ready? They're like, Luke, you want to have kids? And he's like, yeah, never mind. Oh, Bam. <laughs> My dick was destroyed by a bull. Yikes. <laughs> Will mm. insurance cover that? Will they reconstruct his dick? Will insurance cover that? Probably a high deductible if you're bull. I think well, he he's going to die later, so <laughs> there's no well, point. you've totally ruined it for us now. Nobody is going to watch on, it. Come on, Rebecca. You ruined Thanks. it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. It came That's out in 1994. It. People haven't had enough time to it watch it. It was invested. <laughs> but it's, it's based on a true story. Tuff Peterman was a real guy. They call him Tough Peterman because he got trampled on his Tough Peterman penis. Mm. <laughs> tough penis. It's hard for him to pee after this. I don't know. All right, moving along. <laughs> Our director. For this See, this is what was, I'm talking about. Yeah, it was Martin Campbell. <laughs> with 36 director's credits, he did, as AJ and others have mentioned, Casino Royale, <sighs> Vertical Limit, Green Lantern, yeah. Edge Green of Lantern. Darkness. That, um, oh, yeah. Uh, Mel Gibson movie? Mel Gibson movie. Yeah. Uh, Golden Eye. His first film was Sex Thief from 1973, mm. and his most Sex recent, thief? yeah, his most recent is uh, from 2022 is Memory, starring Liam Neeson. Mm. Mm. He, he has to kill people That's because they t- kidnapped his daughter or some <laughs> shit something like, like that. that. He took yeah. his memory and he has to get it back. <laughs> he has a special <laughs> set of skills. Took my memory. <laughs> had to get it back. <laughs> the story to the Sex Thief sounded pretty interesting. It does thought. actually sound yeah. kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I it's watched this movie mental. for the, the serious storytelling. <laughs> well, you were just talking about how Lilith sounds awesome on the pre-show. So. Yeah, exactly. Thank fun. you. Yes. I know, it looks cool. 
<laughs> Taylor no, Ann is obsessed Taylor, with Ray totally Liotta. Fine. Alien Girl, what's up? How you doing? There's nothing wrong, wrong with everybody. That. No, Ray Liotta was a good looking dude back in the day. There's nothing wrong with what? that. Was he? Back Kinda. in the day? We'll I unpack the Ray Liotta. I can agree he was good looking. We'll unpack it. We'll unpack it. We'll unpack it. He's got those right. piercing eyes. Yeah. The eyes. Oh, don't even get started on that. Look at those eyes, Chris. <laughs> These eyes have seen a lot of things. They're never going to see another boy like you. Like Ernie Hudson. Look at Ernie Hudson. So much sexy. <laughs> yeah, my eyes go right to that Hudson. Look at that. And then this poor, what's his <laughs> poor face? Matt Dillon. Uh, get Kevin, Matt Dillon. Kevin, Kevin Dillon. His face, man. Kevin, Kevin Dillon. Dillon. With Kevin the Dillon. smallest <laughs> dreads I've ever seen in my Good life. God. Gosh. I have just no escape Sega Genesis gameplay over here, like playing nonstop. Yeah. Nice. He's like jumping over <laughs> grenades and shit. It's awesome. It looks all <laughs> like uh, Jurassic Park game at the same time. It came out yeah, it kind of does, later. right? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a yeah. solid game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so moving along, our writer, well, my name, we have several writers. The novel for this, called The Penal Colony, was by Richard Hurley. Chris, penal, like prison. I don't know why this is so hard no, for you to I'm grasp. Like penalty, How do they write? Penal? They're like, I P-E-N-A-L. saw Escape from New York, and I'm going to write a movie that is exactly <laughs> the same thing. They well, just, just come out before this? I was trying to think when about penal that, because Fortress is like up. the same thing. Fortress is the same thing. Yeah, Fortress is the same thing. Running that was Man. A good one. Yeah. All right, Fortress so the novel great. came out yeah. in 1987. 1987, I was born by then. Good for you. <laughs> okay. So they didn't even take that into account when they were writing that shit. All right, we have other writers to go along with. We have Michael Galen, and this is his sole writing credit. And then we have Joel Gross, who wrote this, as well as one episode of As the World Turns, and a TV <laughs> movie called Blind Man's Bluff. Makes sense. So it's a pretty competent film considering the lack of writing experience on this film. Um, Our cinematography cinematography was by Phil Mehu. With 60 credits, he did The Core, The Saint, Casino Royale, GoldenEye. Um, And his last feature, full feature movie, was the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Nice. Did you say (laughs) Phil Donahue? No, Phil Mayhew. Mayhew. Sponge. Mayhew? Whatever Mayhew. happened to Phil Donahue? Mayhew. They shoot him because he talked about the Iraq war or something? Probably. Okay. Yeah, our music was by Graham Revel, who has 111 composer credits. He did music for Riddick, The Crow, The Saint, Lara Croft, uh, The Tomb Raider, Pineapple the Express, Saint. Dead Calm, and oh, Hard oh, Target. Dead Calm's yeah, a good movie. some good movies in there. Yeah, they yeah, really Dead are. Calm Hard Target, Van Damme. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. So we have some movies to check out. This one came up a long time ago in a history hole, and I really think we need to get it on the wheel because it does sound cool. I kind of went into a Toby Hooper hole. So these are all <laughs> Toby Hooper movies. We have Spontaneous Combustion, starring yeah. Brad Dorif from 1990. A young man finds out his parents had been used in an atomic weapons experiment shortly before he was born, and that the Happens. results have had some unexpected effects on him. It's mm. a real thing, man. I don't think Toby Hooper... <laughs> It's a very good filmmaker. No, but I still want to see this. It looks I'm just fun. saying to say it. I, yeah. Like Texas Chainsaw, it's all right. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, nothing else. It's what, it's what bad movie night his... quality stuff. Movie. Like, what else did he make? Boom. Oh, he made show. The Mangler. Or, um, Poltergeist, but not really. <laughs> What's the Funhouse was good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aaron Funhouse continue. was pretty good. Oh, you know Funhouse what he did that dark. I do like? Good. Life Force. Life Force. Life Force is something. I don't know if I like Force is good. Uh, I like it. It's something. It's an epic. <laughs> yeah. It's like witchcraft in space. We have The Mangler from 1995. A laundry folding machine has been possessed by a demon, causing yeah, it to develop to homicidal tendencies. What? What's that? Laundry I have a personal... folding machine? Yes, but me and you should have a personal connection to that, having mm. worked for uh, Cecil Cleaners back in the day. We did, but I don't remember having a folding machine. Do you? Spiff. There was the press. No. The, the shirt <laughs> you press. just press the shirt. Like, <laughs> I mean, the shirt press, you could put like someone yeah. in there and then go. You whoosh. could. Yeah. And it would burn a... them, but it wouldn't kill them, I don't think. It would burn you pretty bad. Burn, burn you pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> and then you could throw them in the dry cleaner. Oh, shit. And then you tie them in the bag and put them in. Sounds like a get movie. Ticket written oh, up sounds, yeah, it day. sounds like you guys know a lot about dry cleaners. Spip, and, we then Gloria comes the in and just starts doing it. You could call it the job. dye cleaners. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible title. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. <laughs> well, I mean, the premise is stupid, so what do you expect? Yeah. It's got to fit right along with it. Yeah. 
<laughs> what do you? Oh, you call it starched? Hour dry I don't know. <laughs> I like that better than the dye cleaners. <laughs> no, I like the dye cleaners. I like dye cleaners. <laughs> dye cleaners is great. It's perfect quality. Uh, oh, thanks. So we should make that. All right. So finally, we have Night Terrors Ooh. from 1993. Ooh, That's that cool. face is creepy. Yeah, it's creepy as hell, right? With the candle there. Man, yeah, it's awesome. It's a jack o' lantern. Yeah, you think it's turn people into jack o' lanterns? So I hope so. Cool? Only at the dye cleaner. A woman visiting her father in Egypt becomes involved with Marquis de, Sa- de Sade. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Descendant and his terrifying cult. Looks kind of cool from the pictures. Oh, that's it? It's that's so, it. like, okay. You have to look up the trailers and stuff then, but I think we should get some of these on the wheel. Um, this is from the 80s. Especially spontaneous combustion. 1993. Oh, oh this is 90s? Oh, I definitely watched yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I got for this week's history hole. I'm going to go kill myself now with the glass. (laughs) (laughs) Still talking about Eric. All right, time to move on. We'll talk about no escape. Here we go. Hey everyone, this is Chris, and just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash show and sign up. For $2 a month, you get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre-show, as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash show. All right, we are back. <laughs> no escape. Rebecca? Yeah. What did you think of the Ray Liotta classic? No escape. Um, I was a little confused at first. I wasn't sure what all was happening or what was going on. But once once I figured it out, once we really got into it, um, I thought it was fun. It kept my interest. There was a lot going on, but it was done fairly well. Big fan. What are your thoughts on Ray Liotta in general? Um, it's just okay. <laughs> just like Jesus. Do you like Goodfellas? Um, yeah, it was a, I mean, not my just okay. favorite just movie. Okay. okay, not your favorite. Yeah. Movie. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Spiff. Yeah, this was a fun movie. I'm kind of surprised it lost money at the box office. Actually, um, it, it kind of hit all those yeah. '90s action movies things. You know, the definitely does that prison camp stuff explosions fights Comedy. falling off cliffs you know, it, it was all in there i had a good time i don't i really don't have much to talk about with this movie it was just kind of an inoffensive action movie big fan that sounds just up your alley i i think it's disqualified because it's too good for the show but... too good <laughs> disqualified mm-hmm. aj residential Ray Liotta super fan. In house expert, right? In house no expert. Secret to the pod that I like Narc Ray Liotta. Loves no Narc. Secret. The man. It's a great movie. No one's seen it, but it's amazing. <laughs> no one's ever seen Narc, but AJ loves that movie. It's got Narc. Ray it has one of the best performances of an actor on film. I think we but all said this last week. Didn't we? You gotta go see it. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, I do want to but... see it now because you've been pushing so hard to, to go see it. Oh my god, AJ it's, loves it. So Narc. good, and he loves it. His performance is ridiculous. It's Such a good performance. Good. Such a good performance. Ridiculously good. Yeah. But what did you think about this movie? Oh, it was great. I mean, <laughs> this is this is. See, so you start watching some of these early Ray Liotta movies, you're going to start to realize why why people like Ray Liotta so much because he has some good stuff out there, but a lot of people don't know about it because it's buried. A lot of people don't know about the Ray Liotta. I remember seeing this on HBO back in the day. I thought it was actually originally made for TV movie, and I was shocked to find out no, it's actually a real movie because it is kind of like that borderline, borderline mm-hmm. quality, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, 20 million budget though that was i thought it was like yeah. a showtime movie back in the yeah. day i've never seen I thought it was, but yeah yeah okay so i don't but, know yeah but, um, i didn't know it went to the theaters yeah it, it was fun i enjoyed it um a lot of fun stuff to talk about yeah i think it is way too good for the pod but um i'm still here for it because i'm here on the Ray Liotta train you're riding that train. You might be I'm the conductor it. of that train, son. <laughs> might be. Might be. Uh-huh. Anyone else get getting their tickets to board that Ray Liotta train? Aaron, 
coming with me? Aaron? What? <laughs> You're on the train? <laughs> Aaron, we're talking about Ray Liotta. What are you attention? doing right now? Where, are you where, are you even you here? Working? What are you doing? <laughs> like I'm going to start friend. twitching soon. I'm not really <laughs> entirely sure. We were talking about trains. I don't know. Yeah, yeah Ray Liotta train. train. Are you getting on the Ray Liotta train? Yeah, choo-choo. That's it. There you go. Yeah, I'm there. No, right. That's not on trains. That's a truck, you fucking moron. <laughs> what the fuck did you get? Yeah, on? but on a bus, it stops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I... well, thanks for joining us. Dear everybody. Lord, man. I thought I, I was like, the dumb I one like on sleep the show. Deprived, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what three hours of sleep will do to you. All right. Yes. I thought this movie is great. It brought back a lot of nostalgia. I used to like this movie a lot when I was younger. Nice. And uh, it holds up. It's not a perfect movie by any stretch of the imagination. But this is like a water world type of movie, mm. but much, much better. It was executed better. Mm. Yes, the story is kind of stupid or a reuse of a lot of other movies and stories. But overall, it was just entertaining as shit. I liked it. Shit is pretty entertaining. Pretty entertaining. It lives forever. Is that a tool, Herbert's undertow? Faith no more. Faith no more. Is it okay? Um, not a fan. <laughs> what? Oh. Not a fan. What is wrong with you? Not uh, like this. What? You're not getting on the railway train? It's, it's not mean, depressing enough. I was it's too happy. Yeah, there was a lot of happiness. Um, <laughs> no. Um, How can you not be a fan? Lance of Hendrickson died of cancer. <laughs> Lance Henderson died of Hodgkin's <laughs> disease, which he's just like, I'm fine, but I'm going to die next month, guys. It's going to be bad. You don't want to stick around. But anyways, I digress. Um, no, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, the production values are definitely good, right? Like, there's no arguing that. It's too good to be talking about on the show, probably, because it's like a $20 million budget. Um, what fails for me is that it's just so by the numbers. It's not creative at all. So it's like so freaking predictable. I thought I mean, Ray, Ray Liotta feels, sucked ass. Like, it feels not really in a good way. Like, he was badass. Not in a good way. Whoa. You could suck an ass in a good way, Rebecca. And this is bad <laughs> sucking be Witchcraft ass. 7. Yeah, Witchcraft 7. It's <laughs> just full <laughs> ass sucking all the way, I'm sure. Um, That's unfortunate. You know, I'll chalk it up to Ray Liotta's character is bad because I know Ray, Ray Liotta is a good actor. I just didn't think he fit the role. It's Snake Plissken or Chris, like, or, but you could, if you want to do, you don't have the Kurt Russell money, you go with the Christopher Lambert. <laughs> like a fortress, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I got your yeah. distributor. <laughs> the old is a much better actor than Christopher Lambert. Yeah, he definitely is, but he's not that charismatic. Like, I think. I think if you mm. use Ray Liotta in a specific role, he's a mafia guy or a cop or something, like you get well, some really great performance. Know, but he Chris. just doesn't fit as like the mysterious action guy. Mm -hmm. He wasn't mysterious. He was no. military PTSD dude. Yeah. He was lame, Spiv. He was fucking lame. What? Wow. He had he no cried. character. He cried wow. at that note. Yeah. Chris right, is killing yeah. the show. Let me now. let me let me sh let me show you the crying. Where's this fucking crying? Look, look at this. He's like, look at that. Come that is an Oscar worthy cry. crying right there. I cry. Look at that. And then the women are getting burned. This is what looks like. Yeah, it's too and good. he takes it when so seriously. Cry. It's too good for the movie. And it's just, yeah. Dude, he's like, look at that. Oh, I am like, really, oh, and I'm fucking crying right now. Oh god. That's that's me crying. at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> it's too good. I, it's I'm too not good. arguing. I'm not arguing. He's not. A, I think he's a great actor. I think he's mm -hmm. too good. Mm -hmm. like, too Kurt good Russell's great. Kurt Russell has charisma. He's more campy though. He's, mm. but, he's good at the camp. But the Snake Plissken style right. character being like a badass that you don't know anything about works in Escape from New York and Escape from L.A., I guess. But in this, it's like Ray Liotta's character, he has none. You know he has a some weird past. And then it's revealed and you're like, that doesn't change anything in this movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't <laughs> like him. It I just didn't like him his, in this movie. It explains mm. him better, though. He's not just some hard ass that you don't know anything mm -hmm. about. You actually Aaron, know... He cares, Chris. He cares. It, it, exactly. It gives him. Is that gives the problem, him... Chris? He cares too much. No, his ass was hard. I don't care what you say. <laughs> that was a hard ass, Aaron. Are you I talking about me getting canceled? What, what the hell is wrong with you? Spiff and I are just sharing a moment, but you're all. No, like, you don't get canceled oh, for talking hard about how. Out. You, don't get, <laughs> you don't get canceled for talking about how hard Ridley Oates' ass is. Do you? I don't care. I wouldn't cancel anybody for that. That's fine, man. If that's your thing, great. 
I'm happy for you. Enough about Ray Liotta. No, we're not. We're just oh, you we're the oh, this is gonna all... Ray Liotta. <laughs> That's all we're it's gonna, gonna talk be about like tonight. This movie, That's what the podcast but is. not in a good way. AJ's like Ray Liotta's this... rules, but Chris is like Ray Liotta sucks. <laughs> Don't That's think where we're so. stuck Sucks. now. That's usually what happens on the pod. It's like two factions <laughs> on an island vying for control. We got like every one episode, up here, over here, every episode. the outsiders, over here, pretty much. The look, outsiders, the sanctuary. Then we got look, the. I... <laughs> God damn it! It's like Air Panic and Ticker all over again. <laughs> I wrote down this movie is fantastic until you get to 13 minutes in, and then it's all downhill slowly. Why? I was surprised Why? they left 13 minutes. <laughs> That fast after all those cool miniatures, uh, you didn't like did you, those? Did no. you? Wow, guys, oh, that's, that's, that's a sweet matte painting. painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the, the whole, first, the whole desert prison here was awesome. Yeah, I mean, the that's first better 13. than like Total Recall matte paintings. Look at that. Yeah, the first thirteen in this oh, movie, like of this movie too, are fucking it? amazing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then they're like, oh, some Robinson Crusoe Gilligan's Island bullshit for what the last see, hour and forty-five minutes. I just don't think you like islands. I think that's you don't like is. anything what? that's not like <laughs> yeah. cyber. Just like you, don't like the you don't like anything that's fun because I always remind you of the beach and like right. relaxing. So you hate that. I love the beach. And that's why you're against it. I love islands. AJ, I'm a big fan love of islands. water. Really? Water surrounding land. Big fan. Really? <laughs> so cotton. I just, New I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the Robinson Caruso bullshit of like, oh, so you don't like the, the fact that they're, of like Kiwis they're building a little like, town. Dude, that's like what you do in Mad Max. But that's, that's and... humanity. Like, so what else like all these movies are? I don't like it. It's stupid. It's it's like, remember that Time Barbarians movie, or any yeah. movie where it's like the future, and you see like, oh, this is so cool, and then they transport you back to like a lame time, like nowadays or in the past. <laughs> so you're saying the problem lame. is you said your, the problem was the future was too cool and set the, the bar too the high The future for you. stuff was fucking. And then amazing. when you went to the yeah, island, you're like, I fucking hate islands. What are we doing here? Well, not that, but the, this part. Mm-hmm. It's so cool. All the year the future was? stuff. The bar was too high. 2022. Yeah. Dude, it's I'm with we don't to... have corporate prisons. I, my my, <laughs> first, my <laughs> corporate prisons? My first what? note about this cuz it says in the year 2022 the international prison system is operated by private corporations. That's corporations. very accurate to today. Yeah, it yeah. is. Criminals <laughs> from all over it the world are exploited at a future. profit. It was probably accurate in 1994. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah they've been around since really like the 1800s, the but now it's like everywhere. Yeah. Right. My <laughs> my first note about this movie was the opening text must have AJ feverishly masturbating because this is the most really? depressing shit and it's super accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was shocked by like, um, yeah, how accurate it is to today. But that's it's... how all these science fiction movies are. Yeah, I was they surprised. tell the future because people was, watch them and then they make it a reality. I'm surprised they picked 2022 because even I mean it's the 90s. That's only 25 yeah, years in the future. Is it that, a lot yeah. of these movies they always the 80s, do that. They're like that's like Demolition Man. It's like four years in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> AJ, AJ, Demolition Man. That's the perfect Demolition Man yeah. and Escape. No, uh, Running Man. Like they have the mm-hmm. same storyline. As Ray Liotta's character, where he like he's a military guy and he yeah, does sure. something it's, it's that is not relatable. morally right. People can relate to it. <laughs> exactly. Lots of people have done horrible it's shit because they're in the military and were told yeah. to. That's why. It's and now yeah. they suffer from no. it. It's called PTSD. No, I hundred percent agree. But that's all his character is, and that's the problem. For him. Well, well, it's about be retribution. It's one dimensional. He's, yeah. He's, he's trying Dude, to. It's, a, it's an action movie in the nineties. Of course, yeah. it's gonna be one dimensional. I don't know what you're expecting, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's not no, Schindler's I, List up in here, you know? In no, Die Hard, Bruce Willis should have been an architect. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said. How good? I, th- I think Paul has a point there. What's there's, Paul's point? There's no cool hallways for you to gush about. Uh, oh, that's true. I, I bet if there's some more it. miniatures, you'd be all about this fucking shit. That whole village was a miniature. I know it was awesome. It had to be yeah, a sci-fi a village for Chris to get. When they behind pulled it. that tree, pulled the, oh, the tree yeah, to pull so the cool. all over. Yeah, so that was, that was why cool. in the opening of the cool. movie is there a hologram? Like he's Peter actually Griffith? giving this speech. <laughs> speech, speech, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> speech. I thought that was cool. Yeah, like that. Because hologram. It was cool, cool, but it seems like a really big waste of time, doesn't it? Like, seems wouldn't you just too pre-record that? It's or like Wizard of Oz. Dude, but, and dude, he's that's in the building. Technology. He's in the building. He's in too, the next yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen ninety four. This is the but... shit we do at concerts now with dead artists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
right, but they're dead, Aaron. The guys are literally in the room over. Like, you could just walk out and do the same thing. <laughs> I'm not going out there. He impressive. doesn't want to talk to them. Dude, people do that every day. Like, yeah. Like, what do you think FaceTime is? I mean, FaceTime is not the same as hologramming shit. your face into a, a bunch of Pretty much. penal colony people. Just don't, just, he doesn't have the app, is all. So, and then you have, like, the bad guys, and they're just dressed up as Klingons, and it's just fucking weird. <laughs> You know, I got a lot of battleship, battle of uh, uh, Earth vibes Earth. going here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think they ripped from this movie. It's the guy from uh, Mask of Zorro, right? Yeah. That yeah. guy's great in this film. He is good. Some good actors he, in this. He hammed it up. Yeah, he's good. like John Travolta as a bad guy, but actually good mm. at it. Yeah, mm-hmm. he should have played John Travolta's role in Battlefield right. Earth. He should have been John In fact, oh. this is way better than Battlefield <laughs> Earth. This is way better than Battlefield <laughs> <laughs> Way better. That's yes. not a high yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's definitely cool scenes. Like there are yeah, cool yeah. scenes. Look at that. I think oh. my problem with this movie is that one, I've said it, but I don't think Ray Liotta fits. But two, the budget is too high that it's not creative enough. Mm. It's so high the writing, that it has the to. Writing is weak. Yeah. The writing it's, is so dumbed there down. So Everything many is movies well, in the down. early '90s like this that it's were an like, action this, movie. That's like, just how they were. It's huge production. I mean, look at the amount of extras they had on the set. It's mm. ridiculous. Yeah. Hundreds yeah. of people in like every There's scene. So many people like, on that's each a lot. of those tribes. The, the costumes look decent. Like, you know, mm-hmm. there's variety. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you guys are just like, oh, it's so good because they threw $20 million at it. Like, no, that's not what we're saying. But for the time period. That's pretty much what we're saying. For that an is action what you're movie. saying. You're like, I'm <laughs> blown away by the, the spectacle more than Dude, anything the else. The action like, was great. It was an action yeah, movie. Yeah, I like the core story. Action. It's a simple story. It's an old mm, tale. Yeah, I, like wanted, the I wanted them to get away on the boat. Uh, yeah. I don't yeah. think the action's great, though. That's the other thing. Like, really? The fighting isn't maybe the best. Mm. But <laughs> The fighting isn't <laughs> the best. <All> right. But <laughs> it's just because it, it, it's shown. Like These guys aren't all just hardened criminals. They're just people that committed like a felony, and now they're in prison. There's uh, lots of people in prison that aren't criminals. like hard-ass military-trained people. Like I mean, Kevin not Dillon. Ray Liotta, like Kevin Dillon, yeah. yeah. Was he supposed like, to be young? He didn't want those kids to die. Right. He looks so look confused. At, look at Ray Liotta there. acting there. Killing Dude, it. Ray he Liotta... He's not good at showing pain. I have a scene where he's like, he hurt his leg, and it's the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to show it. So prepare okay, yourself, I'm AJ. ready. AJ, are you mentally prepared for this? I'm, I'm shocked you're on such a... Uh, a run mm-hmm. here with Ray Liotta. Me too. Like, no, you're I'm, out to get him. I'm not out to get him. Let's I'm going to tweet him tonight and let him know. Tweet Watch him. Out. Tweet him. Tweet him. him. All right, here we go. That's called a Tom Hanks. That's fine. That's what happened. That's exactly what Tom Hanks does. That was awful. was awful. He stepped on a Lego. I like the Step guys on. behind him. They were just like, what is he doing? Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, he's acting. That's Ray Liotta acting right now. That's what that was. Are we rolling? <laughs> he probably uh, stepped I, on a rock. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't like... I'm surprised, Chris, that you were expecting, like... Solid acting and memorable characters I from a throwaway it. action movie from 1994. I don't understand Chris's perspective Spiff. on any of this. Spiff, Twenty million dollars is not throwaway. But from 1994, that's, that's, that's oh, it is probably a reasonable it standard is. comparatively to the like 90s action movie that went to Ray Liotta. That's a low budget. What's another movie? like 90s action movie that you think of that's similar it's, caliber? It's the reason yeah. why I I don't like these kind of huge budget movies. It's not because they're not just a huge budget. Twenty million dollars. It's a lot of money. Dude, Jurassic, it's a Jurassic small Park was action million. movie. It's a small yeah. action movie in in the nineties for a box office release. I would definitely call it that. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, yes, I like moments of it. Oh, yeah, I don't awesome. like the whole. I don't like the whole rebuilding society out of okay, uh, fucking uh, palm trees and shit like that. <laughs> Well, They're see, on an island. You, you don't do like it. islands. This is fucking insane. Okay. You don't like islands. I hate them. 
See? It's all coming out. I hate up. islands. I hate, Chris, hate the jungle. And trees. You don't like Jumanji. It's all Fucking full circle. Coconuts. Trees, same trees, same month, 1994, mm-hmm. on Deadly Ground, that Steven Seagal movie. $50 mm-hmm. million dollar budget. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I like exactly. Arnie Hudson. I like the miniatures. Yeah. I like I that it terrible feels explosion. Like, <laughs> it, feels, <laughs> it feels like this it was made for HBO. Or like you said, like mm-hmm. like Cinemax or whatever. It feels that like that kind of quality. Like when they were making big movies on those channels at that time. There you go. It feels mm-hmm. that way. Okay, the next year we had um, Under Siege 2. Sixty million dollars. It, it's just there's a lot of things that compound for me, because at one point like <laughs> palm like, trees and Ray Liotta. Yeah, like they start introducing <laughs> the Gilligan's Island bullshit. Like, See, no, like Chris, all right, Chris what is hate Gilligan's, Gilligan's Island. Island is fucking amazing. What is wrong? But with then you? and then it's like and then it introduces a a acoustic or a a guitar with a slide and the twang. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> slide guitar fucking is amazing. Out, guys. It's what awful. is wrong with you? It's the worst. Dude, was, you have like now we're no going down interest. to the bio. I have no interest. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I only want cyborgs. Yeah. <laughs> no. And I only want Alfred Pyong. Mm-hmm. My future prison movies need to be. And I just want to see future. my little girl. <laughs> I never <laughs> said any of that. You're mm-hmm. you are applying a lot of things just because I don't like I love Gilligan's Island <laughs> as a comedy. Oh. I just hate it in this where they're rebuilding this tropical. What else would you do in this scenario? Fort. It's going to be it's going to be factions or you're going to die. You're not going to be able to eat by yourself. You won't survive. Yeah, but it's always stupid. It's So is it the because they're like advanced of like reasonable people and then like the marauders who are so stupid. There's Welcome no way to our somebody. country. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going deep on this. Dude, it's a 90s action movie. What the right. what? This That's is humanity, exactly is. buddy. This it is how it works. works. It has great character actors. Scott Winston in it. There's people that want to make things better. Where did Ernie Hudson get that outfit, Smith? Where did that outfit? Those pants were so clean. clean. They were too clean. Yeah. The set of Jurassic Park. They washed up on the shore. Didn't you watch anything? (laughs) I watched. They got bubble gum. I don't know, man. I did not expect uh, what's his face to die. Did he kill himself though? I don't know. It wasn't clear. I was confused by that too. I kind of felt like he like turned it on himself because he wanted. He knew he had Ray Liotta die. wouldn't do he it. Had to die, because Ray Liotta's just a stand-up guy, Chris. I bet you're not a fan of Hook either, are you? No, fuck Hook. This is like a you're what? On a of Hook. Train. You don't like Hook? Ruthio. No, I don't give a shit about. Who doesn't Hook? like Hook? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because that had a very tropical theme. Chris is just <laughs> it's in the that. jungle. He just doesn't yeah. like jungles. I'm what happened you. to your childhood? I'm telling That's you. Why, did I, did I, like, I ruin you somehow? I bet. It's because he like he likes the Caribbean. Do you? I like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. But there's palm yeah. trees. That has scenes in towns. I know. That's true. This is why he likes Predator 2 better than Predator 1. Oh, I don't what? like Predator 2 better than Predator 1, but I do oh, like you're Predator 2. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Predator 2 is great, but it's not oh, as good yet. Yeah. Get out of here, you fuckers. <laughs> I just... Over here. There's, there's a point where like they're wearing these like Japanese-inspired uh, helmets and shit. It just does, it, None of it makes any sense. The like, really poorly made ones. Yeah. They made them themselves. Dude, Dude, why? They got like 200 extras, the clothes and the stuff. I mean, do you want an arrow to the head? You'd be trying to make something too, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's like little bamboo things. I so you're just that. saying, in like the history of man, before we could make stuff like we make now, we just did, oh, fuck it, I don't need armor. It looks stupid. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But, but why okay, is Okay, it's it a primitive this? society. Just because it takes place now. <laughs> Doesn't mean they have the resources Man, are, of modern society. You are a society. hardcore defender of no way out. I'm not. I'm a hardcore defender of, Look at this against whatever outfit. your problem is. <laughs> yes, it's stupid. I think, I think Dude, my definitely. problems are reasonable with this movie. I feel like everyone agrees. They just don't want to face their the truth to the whole situation is what it oh is. Oh, my God. You're judging this thing like it's a real movie. That's the other thing. Exactly. $20 million, AJ. This is a In real movie. 1994. Wait, Paul says Under Siege 2 is his favorite movie of all time. What? Paul? I don't even remember Inflation. Under Siege 2. That's the one on the train? Yeah, the Inflation train. Inflation has yeah, increased. Shot. It's dumb, 90... but it's fun. $1 is worth $1.94, so... So it's a $40 million budget right now. It's a $40 yeah. million dollar movie, AJ. That is a real movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
what what movie was made for forty million dollars? Nowadays they don't really made. make movies today. That much. Forty million. Yeah, now yeah. they don't. Yeah, you spend Other that much than, on CG. Right. That's what I'm saying. Only only like blockbusters. It was a low budget but action nineties movie. movies have changed significantly since the nineties. You can't judge this mm-hmm. as a modern movie. I don't think there's that much action in this movie though either, because it's almost two hours long and there's only like two action scenes. Okay, okay, wait. A great example is what about the like the Hunger Games? Those movies probably had high budgets. It's the same fucking mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Very yeah. true. They're also better. Oh, look at that! That was awesome. Oh, I felt like just that. right in the right spot. You didn't like any of the battle scenes? I just didn't think they were like eventful the hunger games budget was 78 million a little bit more okay <laughs> double. Grant you that it's double but, but it's twice as much he, yeah. he now became a rock in that movie yeah, that's just so stupid too. <laughs> that movie is if, if fucking ray leota became a rock i would be way more on board hmm. do rocks feel pain you wanted him to cover himself in mud and stand next to the wall. Taylor the says she agrees space. with me. There you go. Paul and, uh, says the Taylor North. Says I no, don't she, says, she doesn't agree with you. This movie's <laughs> awesome. You're just reading what you want to read. <laughs> there you go. You're Paul said the Northman has a comparable like budget, which is actually yeah, quite exactly. a bit. Exactly. That's quite a bit for a movie like that. I'm surprised that even they spent that much and put it in a theater. I, I don't understand how they're making all these fucking weapons in the movie. I just don't understand any of this. They get drop they've been off. there for the 13 years. Right. Yeah, 13 and the, years. And the copter Rebecca. drops off stuff for them. Chris? <laughs> Rebecca, I'm tasking you with this now. By 2035, you need to have handmade a crossbow. Chris, I'll whip that shit up tonight. I don't have any reason to. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> sounds like an excuse. Up on the island. You know? <laughs> you know much well, I'll keep it up. There might be a reason soon. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. Mm, you never know. What happened to him? He got killed. And he, he was a spy. Yeah, I don't know. Coconut yeah. oil? Too much of that gasoline beer. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it has a lot of Mad Max stuff. vibes. None of that stuff worked. Uh, I'm surprised because I thought you liked Mad Max too. But yeah, I love it has Mad a Max similar too. vibe as Mad yeah, Max. This is just very much. this is just so generic. You, is it's Mad awesome. Max more serious? <laughs> I, I don't see it's that at all. Too generic. Mad if Max it takes weird, place yeah. in not the jungle. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about the goddamn palm trees. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it no, is. It really got, is. If Ray Liotta had a souped-up Ford, Ray Liotta. Sucks. All right. Ray Liotta sucks. <laughs> that's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear. That's what you're getting. All right. Ray Liotta. All right. You know what you're getting? Shit. Ray Liotta. We're going to tag team you here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Liotta was like bad Liotta. in this movie. I don't, I don't know Ray what you guys want me to that. Also, he did movie. fine in this movie. Yeah. yeah. He was fine. He, didn't, he did not have anything to work he with. He had no character. Oh, exactly. He, he was, he doesn't look I mean, he's, right. he's trying to, he's battling Peter Griffin, for God's sakes. <laughs> what, what is that guy in the, uh, the lots morning. of stuff yeah. he's terrible stuff. in everything i mean he plays an asshole in, like every movie mm-hmm. i'm gonna play a little bit of the muzak from the credits <laughs> what's wrong with that it's 90s action. So forgettable. Movie so forgettable. Music. So forgettable. What? Okay, like everything nowadays is all Christopher Nolan. Just <laughs> <laughs> just low end notes. Just 808s blasting your ears. <laughs> explosion, explosion. Yeah. It's literally like it's trying to induce a bowel movement. That's all they're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Hit and that I like it. Note. Exactly. But that's all they go for anymore. So I don't mind some strings. I don't mind some orchestral stuff mixed in. It gives it more character. It gives it more depth. That's how every movie was scored back then. Exactly. That was awesome back then. And maybe I'm just being nostalgic because I'm old and I think yeah. I liked movies There's back some nostalgia then. It was a big part of my life for sure. I think we all like it because it's a generic '90s action movie, and Chris doesn't like it because it's a generic it's a '90s generic action, action movie. movie. <laughs> exactly. Yet Tomato, every tomato. Year, on the podcast, the generic '90s action movie wins. Mm-hmm. Best movie. Ever. I like some action <laughs> movies. Mm-hmm. Rage was great. Rage was ten times better than this with a quarter of the budget. You just like Fat Cop. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Fat Cop is fucking great. Okay, Fat Cop sold that role. Ray Liotta didn't sell this role. Yeah. I mean, it's just the problem is I would just rather go watch Escape from New York or Fortress. 
I don't think Fortress is that much better. Or even I think they're somewhat. Oh, cool. get the shit out of ass! I love Fortress. Fortress. Is a million times better than this. It's not it's as well made set. as this though. You're in one it's, set. Yeah, and it's still somehow better. It's because it's more futuristic. <laughs> yeah, way that's better. the only thing that's like way better. It's not. Yeah, on if this movie, if the whole thing would have been futuristic, <laughs> yeah, a billion times better. That stupid fucking. We're building our huts out of fucking bamboo shoots and all kinds of shit. You were so mad ass. about it's just like awful. It's yeah, yeah. Okay, awful. okay, wait, wait, wait. Like, I think what there's would you do in that scenario? What are you going to build your house out of, Chris? <laughs> Don't you fucking worry about what I'm going to build my day house. Day three, out. Chris is laying on the beach, just <laughs> fucking day, dead. Day, day one is from dead. exposure. Like, <laughs> it's like there's all, it's all the trees. We're screwed. Gosh, I got nothing one else to say. Palm trees. I've said my piece. You guys won't accept it. I'm not not accepting it. I mean, you can have bad taste in movies too. We all do. <laughs> That's why we're on this show. <laughs> what faction exactly. would Chris be in? Would Chris be in? I'd the... be in the cool guys. Chris would be in the cool guys, and he'd get murdered in day two. <laughs> he'd fall asleep on watch He's and like, get banished. I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I'm that guy right there. You see him in the back left. That's me. I've watched enough of these goddamn palm trees. I want to die. <laughs> I, don't know, I, mean, I thought what? the sets were pretty impressive. Yeah. Like the scaling was insane. Oh yeah. And then they literally built towns on this island. Like that's that's where the money went. It's crazy. The thing that drove me crazy was the main outsider guy's teeth were so perfect and everyone <laughs> yeah. else had like caricatured terrible <laughs> yeah. meth mouth. <laughs> I I hear everyone and I hear Taylor. And I accept, yes, the production values in this movie are great, but the movie is so stupidly generic and stupidly predictable that it wasn't that entertaining for me. I'm sorry. See, that's more like DNA. I would totally agree with you. They had a budget, yeah. similar budget. Right. DNA is the one we should be talking and about. And that was yeah. like, we literally steal mm-hmm. from everything else. DNA mm-hmm. did not have a $20 million budget. It had like a million dollar budget. And it was maybe. more than a million. What year was that from? 1999? It's like, it's like the same years. No. No. No, that's a big difference. No, it was a lot later. After Jurassic yeah, Park, everything dude. changed. Yeah. 1996. How do you spell Discoscos? Jesus Christ. Because Jurassic Discosco. Park is what we get is just the CG. And we get away from practical effects. They didn't even and list the budget, and it went straight to DVD. This movie probably had less than a million dollar budget. Well, DNA was made for TV, too. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. It was 1996. So that's, that's, what I'm that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, so, Chris. You don't have to like it. I didn't like it. I'm sorry. It's fine. You're allowed I'm sorry. To opinion. I'm sorry. I still like Ray Liotta. I do like Ray Liotta. Sure, sure, yeah. As long as there's no palm trees involved. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you're rushing out the scene narc. Because right? bamboo is offensive somehow. I'm a fan of bamboo. Then why? In would... general. <sighs> we're, we're done. We're moving on. <laughs> it makes no sense. Like any any, any, any other things to say about No Escape? Just alternate titles. No, I had no notes. I, I do have some alternate titles as well. Aaron, let's hear yours. Um, the Island of Dr. Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freaks versus Geeks. Uh, Lord of the Felons. Bitch Titch Betrays Them All. <laughs> um, the Island of Misfit Boys. Gilligan's Island of Death. The Penis Colony. The mm. Peen Hole Colony. The Thirsty Games. <laughs> Are you 40 years old? And you just dude, like, dude, where's my boat? Yeah. Dude, where's my boat? <laughs> We're the boat, American dude. Justice System in 2024, but early 2022. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Peter Griffin gets eaten. Uh, throw another kid on the Barbie. Fortnite. And Rufio Liotta and the Lost Boys. Nice. Le- Leo- Leota and the Lost Boys. Liotta. Liana. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got Escape to Sausage Island because it's just all men. Uh, Bunghole Royale, uh, Survival of the Shittiest, and Gilligan's Guyland. <laughs> that's, good, that's good. That's not bad. I like that. Um, yeah, that's all mm. I got. So, Rebecca. Yeah. Would you recommend No Escape? I would recommend. I think it was it was a fun movie. I think it would be even better to watch like with people. I think it would be a fun one with a group. But yeah, I would recommend it. Biff. 
Yeah, I'd recommend it. I mean, ultra predictable, ultra generic, but very well made. AJ. Of course I recommend it. It's too good for the show. And I do agree we should disqualify this because the quality is just through the roof on this thing. Plus, we got Ray Liotta star power. Yeah, go check it out. It's a fun time. Aaron. Yeah, I'm going to recommend it. I, I enjoy this film. It's not perfect. It has <laughs> palm trees, but whatever. It is enjoyable. I, I like how uh, Spiv agreed with everything I said and recommended it. And then I would say all those same things and, and not recommend it. It's fine. It's not that you're wrong. It's, I think it's just the. Yeah. It's just your out like like anger towards this film for all of its <laughs> sins. It's you're... like ninety percent of the movies you watch have much worse sins. Than I this am thing. I am very critical of movies that have you're... way more potential than mm-hmm. they like. Yeah. This movie has has everything. It, like it, they could make a really good movie, but instead they make a really generic movie. It's my point. I mean, I think the story is, the is first limited, time but it's a very big old action story. Director movie like it's the first movie of the scale like it's mm-hmm. it's, yeah it's believable and, and, it's like, and he went on to make the and both zorro movies dude, and james make casino, royale. casino royale he made golden eye one of the the action movies of that i don't decade. give a fuck about james bond well that's that's your problem this again. is also ava your problem green, chris ava green this is also yes. just like your problem again. i've seen casino royale it's fine it's like two movies in one you it's haven't not seen a, all casino it's not a great royale. movie i don't think what oh my God. Oh, this is ridiculous <laughs> Oh, buddy, you gotta like expand your horizons a bit. Yeah, he's dude, just you gotta expand us. a little bit. I, I am expanded. I just don't agree with you guys. It's okay. We don't the have opening to like scene all the same of Casino Royale things. with the roof. There's some. Oh, there is some oh, fantastic best movies of the scenes. decade. There are some fantastic <laughs> scenes in Casino Royale, but you you cannot disagree with me that it is long and it feels like two movies to me. Yeah, Can but it's I, it's got the Bond kind of pacing. It's it's like a modern Bond meets old Bond, and they shove them together, and it's 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 good. Mm, I like it. Green, yeah. You just don't like and cards. You got you. you don't like fucking... cards. Is that is that you don't like card playing? Mm-hmm. I like card playing. Just like you don't Rounders? like Islands. Rounders is a great movie. Just like you don't like Islands. No I'm Islands. Not a big fan of Islands. No cards. Mm-hmm. No James's. Look, you guys can bully Hates me all bamboo. you want. It's We're not my bullying opinion. you. <laughs> Oh, we'll bully you all night. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to like anything because you're a stupid fuck. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I know. It is. It's weird to me. It's just like, it's like I think it's yeah. You're from a different world. I I agree. Uh, yes, I am, and that's fine. I didn't enjoy the movie that much. I didn't yeah. dislike it. It's fine. Okay? You're just disappointed that it's not what it could be potential. Yeah. I think that's a fair assessment. There's definitely a lot of potential between the music, I'm the cinematography, angry, I'm the set. Yeah, that's like what your parents exactly. say to you. Yeah, exactly. I think Which Ray Liotta you. could do I a just little bit more effort. In. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ray Liotta's got a little bit. He's got a little bit more in him than this. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. Time move on though, and play a game. Here we go. Game time, baby. Your theories are the worst kind of pop. Try to do your best to slap you. Your conclusions are highly unreasonable. Shall we play? Ooh, ooh, Earth. <laughs> All right, so we're going to visit some different islands because we know oh, how much fun. Chris yeah, enjoys dear, them. Boy. Oh, boy. Um, but Christ. you are going to decide as a group in where in the world this island is. So it's probably an island you've heard of. But do you know where it's located? Ooh. Do we have to like? This is like, um, oh, yeah. Uh, the Pacific. Easter Island is Easter in... Island, west of where California. Is it? No, west of no. California. No, south it near of um, Hawaii. It, it's off the coast of Africa. Uh, no, west of California, south of Hawaii. No, it's in. Is it? Is fuck. it? Oh, is it west of South America? Yeah, <laughs> it's in a P word. It's a P word. Is it in the Pacific? I told you where Ocean? it is? I thought it was. I've in... looked it up on a map. Yeah, I think AJ AJ's got it. It's a group of islands, it's like but it's called like Hawaii. the Galapagos. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally out by itself. It's near the Galapagos, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like that, yeah, but I forget what it's called. Now I wouldn't say you can swim there from Hawaii, but <laughs> all right, but, like, maybe a bamboo raft. Yes. There you go. Yes. No, that's much farther south than I remember. It is um, actually a territory of Chile. 
Oh, cool. Mm. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Yep. That's interesting. Bora Bora. Where is it? Uh, oh, Bora Bora I is... am an American education system uh, product. <laughs> Bora Bora. I just saw this I mean, one recently. I mean, it's... I always thought geography was kind of Bora boring. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> it certainly uh, has. Uh, I really don't know. It's in the Indian Ocean, isn't it? I want to say it is. That could be it. Either that near the Philippines. Jesus mm. Christ. Sounds like a Star Wars character. It's, name. it's, <laughs> it's near the Mediterranean Sea. Bora Bleeder Lots. I mean, the water right. is so clean there. Look at that. Here it is. Oh, but there's no microplastics the right over there, right? Oh, wow. Oh, I was way off, yeah. Wow. Oh, interesting. Chris, you could swim there. <laughs> from, from Australia. <laughs> yeah, from Australia. In fact, it might be closer. <laughs> Damn, that is really fucking far away. We we have to stop doing this podcast. <laughs> Why? Oh, Ibiza, that's... Uh, Ibiza, where is it? That's, that's off of Spain, it? right? It must be Spain. Oh, is it off of Spain? Sounds Spanish, Ibiza. It looks Spanish. Look Which way off of Spain? Uh, it's, uh, it's to the it's, west. It's near Southwest. Portugal. It is. Oh, Ooh, it's in the east. Mediterranean. Wow. Yikes. Yeah. Galapagos. Where is That's it? That's off of Ooh. Peru. Ah, bad or Ecuador, the deepest Peru. Peru. One of those. <laughs> Looks beautiful. It is. There it is. And it is, is the territory where, of Ecuador. Is that where Charles Darwin went? Yep. Yeah. That's where the tortoises Master are. Master Commander, right? The I just watched oh, um, man, a movie Master with my Commander. kids mm-hmm. about Charles Darwin called Extinct, the animated movie. No, oh, I thought you were going to say Forest Fairies. I, I watched was hoping that too. you were going to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Java. Where is it? Oh. On your computer. That looks like South America. Is, that's in the not anymore. Uh, Pacific, right? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Java I didn't know it was an island. It's uh, it's in like Indonesia, Thailand kind of place. It is. Hey! Oh, wow, Jesus Spiv! Look at that. Nailed it. What a geography nerd over here. This is awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, Spiv! This is what it, what a smart I, person I'm says. I'm the father of someone who's obsessed with maps. So. <laughs> that's cool. All right, Malta. Where is it? Oh, it's off the it's off of France. Yeah, and it's right beautiful. Again. Wherever that is, it's decently far away. Man, I know nothing. <laughs> it looks like a pretty cool place. It is Mediterranean. Yep. Pretty middle. Right there be t- Italy and Libya. Tunisia, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Seychelles. Sure. Never That's even heard the, of that. That's the Caribbean, right? <laughs> looks like it. Is it the Caribbean? Or no, no, it's. Is this one off of Africa? No. Oh. Say oh, shit. I don't know. I've, so I is it no French? At all. The French colony? It was. It, it might still be. I don't know. I think it is. Uh, I think it's to the east of Africa. No? I don't Maybe? know. Maybe? I, I literally hey! Don't know. There, there it is. Go. Spiv. Yeah, Damn, Spiv. Spiv. <laughs> hey, Granada. Spiv. Where is it? The island of Grenada. Is it near the Grenadines? South America. So, yeah, that would be South America, but that's like... Taylor, that's not a sea monster. That's a person. (laughs) (laughs) Is it, like, off the... Grenada is... uh, That's near South America, right? Is it near Brazil? Like, off the east coast? Up there? It is. I don't know what... I don't know what any of this is. Right down there. Oh, there you go. Oh, is it really in the Caribbean? Oh, I was close. That's I said South America. Yeah. That's interesting. That's I always call it Grenada. Grenada Venezuela. There's a there's you a say like Grenada. Nam. Nam. I say Grenada. <laughs> Grenada. There, I felt a, so dumb. Little, little trip around the world. I, I felt cool. so dumb during that whole thing. I know nothing. Yeah, me both, buddy. Me <laughs> both. That's all right. Well, That's now you know more. It, it, this <laughs> expanded your mind. Mm. No, I won't remember a single thing about that. Just so we're clear. There's there's a Wordle ripoff called Worldle, where they show you an a, outline of a country. You have to guess. Oh, it. Spiv's been practicing. This makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spiv, that'll be next week's game. I'll just show Spiv, you outline. I have a question for you. Oh God. Yes, Chris. Spiv, do you do you check like Twitter and Facebook and any kind of social media? No. That's why Smart you do man. Wordle. Yeah, <laughs> you have it right. Yeah. Don't waste your time on that shit. 
Elon Musk or Musker. Is he going to change the name? Musker? Is that what going to be called? No, I, I just made that up. <laughs> Tesla? <laughs> Tw- what? Twitter brought to you by Tesla. All right, we're moving on. Thank you for that, <laughs> Rebecca. That was a good game. Yep. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. E. Mess. You tiny little E. Mess. You precious little E. Mess. Where are you? Last week we checked out Mausoleum from 1983. Taylor N says, at least I can say this movie was better than my first pick of the year, Metamorphosis. Yeah, well, no, it, it definitely was. was. Definitely yeah. was. Metamorphosis was fun in its own way, but yeah. I guess, did we, we talk about... We to all see Metamorphosis, though. Yeah. I remember Metamorph- the cover for What was while. that about? That was the one with the dino dinosaur. suit at the end. <laughs> dino, oh, DNA. dino DNA. Mm. They're all about dino DNA. It's like budget Christian Bale turns into a dinosaur at the end. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Budget Christian Bale. Paul says when he was living in California, his dad sent him raging hormones in the mail and made him watch it. Oh. It's a really oh. horny John Waters I, film. I was picturing like a oh, really? vial of hormones. Yeah, like a vial. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading about John Waters the other day. <laughs> no, it's a movie Powder raging form. Hormones. I guess we Powder talked about form. this maybe during the history hole, or raging hormones. John Waters. It's not a John Waters movie. Oh, you it's know not, why? It's, it's like a really horny John Some Waters. of his stuff's going to Criterion Collection. That's why. Uh, right now. Mm. Like Pink Flamingos. Did he just release another book or something? I mean, have you yeah, seen Pink did. Flamingos? Like, I don't... It doesn't work for me. Mm. Eh, it's not my thing either, but I get... I get Hairspray, man. From a very different Hairspray. time. Hairspray's pretty fun. Yeah, it is. Apparently this one features a scene where someone's dominatrix ties them to a bed. But that's someone's mom finds them and starts berating and whipping them instead. The dominatrix or the person? This explains a lot about the dominee. Paul. About Paul, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so that one's gone the wheel, right? Your dad it's made you YouTube. watch that. It's on YouTube. I found it. What? It's on YouTube for free. <clears throat> Did he make you watch it with him? Dave of Black. <laughs> Bob, says... check out Channel Nine. <laughs> I think uh, yeah, David Black was one of two people who actually, uh, oh no, three, who responded to our "Who wins in a fight, Chris or Benjamin Franklin?" <laughs> <laughs> David Black says Chris can take Ben. It's hard to lose against a dead Whoa. Ben. Yeah, <laughs> <great>. <laughs> oh, 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 so we're going in his current state. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Mm. Doesn't stand a chance. That's fair. Uh, he like he liked Mausoleum. He loved the style. He said it was felt Italian. I would agree mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Uh, alternate title, Possessed and Loving It. Ah, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Dracula Dead and Loving yeah. It. Mm. Marilyn Knepper also thought Mausoleum was fun. Do you think the Nomad family was originally from Nilbog? Mm. Is that a... Um, that's uh, Goblin spelled backwards. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but... What, yeah, but what's that movie called? Uh, fuck. Mm. Uh, oh, shit. This is going to drive me nuts. Oh, we'll wait. Oh, uh, whatever. Keep going. Okay. Uh, she says the housekeeper played Anne Esther on Sanford. Trolls 2. That's what I was looking for. Trolls 2. Yeah. Alternate. And troll 2. <laughs> and she has not, an alternate. Not the uh, kids animated <laughs> shitty singing movie. Trolls Rock and roll tour. <laughs> Justin Timberlake troll, was in. Uh, troll 2. Troll like, 2. Classic yeah. bad movie, yeah. 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 She has an alternate tittle. A tale of two evil titties. Have you ever, I mean, have you guys ever kind seen of Troll Two? Spiff, have you ever seen Troll Two? I've not. I've seen none of the Troll movies. I saw the first one. Well, the I've first one Trolls? is Jennifer yeah. Aniston. Yeah. The second one is like a very much classic bad movie. Mm-hmm. You've never seen it? No, I've never seen. We it should either. watch it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Throw it on the wall. Yeah. People would love it, honestly, because it's pretty. Like, we probably could watch it. Movie. Does it take place in a jungle? No. Is no. That's kind of why I like it. <laughs> Ray Liotta. <laughs> No, no Ray Liotta Liotta plays either. the troll. Uh, Marilyn also feels Chris beats Benjamin Franklin in the first round, but is disqualified in the second round for paying John Wilkes Booth to shoot Abraham Lincoln before the fight. <laughs> That's one hundred percent fair. <laughs> uh, that I, totally I can get behind. That. Yeah. Julia Louis Dreyfus is in Troll. Uh, mm. In the original? 
That's what Paul says. I thought it's Jennifer Anderson the second one. Oh, maybe. No, I'm thinking Leprechaun. Maybe I'm mixing them. Maybe I only saw the second one. I saw the one with Jennifer Aniston. That's Leprechaun. There was like a Trolls in the Hood Oh, or Leprechaun. Too. No, <laughs> yeah. You're thinking Leprechaun. <laughs> that's Leprechaun? Okay. I'm Julia sure Lewis Dreyfus is in Troll, the first one. But Troll yeah. 2 is, is <laughs> different. Sonny Bono in the first Troll movie. Okay. Yeah, I never saw the second one. I did see the first one. It was from like the 80s, right? All right. Yeah, we figured it out, guys. We figured it out. Yeah. I, I, we got there. I drank a whole glass. There. It was just pretty much just all... Orange tequila, juice and, ice. and now it was just all something else. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there's, there's that creepy little fucker. Yep. <laughs> you shouldn't talk about your brother that way, Aaron. I was talking about True, Aaron. I thought you were talking about Sonny Bono. Well, oh, I'm not a big U2 fan. I'm not gonna lie. They kind of suck. Sonny Bono is <laughs> Sonny Bono. <laughs> not Bono. That's Sonny Bono. Bono. I think everyone oh. agrees with you. Sonny and Cher, you. you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, remember when the iPhone, when they gave you that YouTube album? Like, it was like a virus yeah. you can get off yeah, your phone. Yeah, it like ruined yeah. iPhones. Awful. <laughs> oh, ruined, like, ruined the world, frankly. Stupid ruined Sonny Bono. World. Yeah. I still, tur- I still, when my phone gets plugged into the car, first thing that comes on is that fucking YouTube album you can't get off your phone. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. uh, Sonny Bono sings Bull of the Blue Sky. I want to hear that. That's going to be great. Oh, man. Rand Mc113 right. changed his name God to Rand DMC. Takes away all my fun. Has a hypothetical question for us. If you grow extra demon heads like our leading lady in this movie, but you get to choose where they grow. Ooh. Where are you putting your extra demon face? These are the questions we want. Somewhere it's not going to chafe. Like it's I don't want to have a belt there, or you know. <laughs> I feel like total recall. No demon chafing. Kind of ways yeah. to go, like <laughs> on the stomach. Chafing. You kind of hide it a little yeah, bit. Like a, like, a, like a quato, yeah. Yeah, a quato. Like, like behind your knee or something like that. A belly your button. Knee. Yeah, like that, Chris. Where are you pointing it? In your ear. That's, I think. I think back of your head, so it can see behind you. No, oh Quasimodo, like a Voldemort t- type situation. There, <laughs> I want my hands Mary. to be. My hands your hands? Be How are you gonna yeah. type code with demon hands? I don't type code. I'm upper right. management. Dude, he doesn't do shit anymore. <laughs> you can just use your demon hands to tell you other people tell to do people it. He did not take too long to embrace this whole. I don't actually do any work anymore. You're talking to here. He doesn't type anything. He doesn't do shit anymore. I delegate. I just sit in meetings. I delegate too, but I still like to do things. Good lord. I mean, it'd be cool like if it was in your armpit and you'd be like, yeah, and like get kill somebody annoying, with that. Though. But you gotta put deodorant on it. <clears throat> and it's gonna be like, I don't know what it tastes like, yeah. I don't think you had to put what deodorant it on it. Like? <laughs> Why are you eating? Yeah, can you, you taste via the demon pit? Are you pit? tasting through the, the demon yeah. pit? Yeah. Oh, wait, so you... That's not how it works, because if you have like a Siamese twin or somebody attached to you, you don't taste what they this taste. This isn't a Siamese twin, this is demon yeah, faces. This is a, yeah. This it's is like a parasite like, type situation? No, mm-hmm. it's like a part of you. Yeah. It's like a second set of mouth or, or second mouth. Okay, or then behind you is good because it can see behind you and you could tell what's going on back there. You just like, I've always wanted to see what the time. back of me looks like. I don't know what Nobody it looks wants like. To, you don't want to see that. <laughs> Nobody wants, Nobody to, see wants back, to see that? What the Damn. back of yourself looks like. I don't want to see that. that's rough. Damn. All right, it's fair. Yeah. Uh, well, Rand DMC wants to replace its belly button with one. Yeah, but see, that like, seems too. like it'd be in the way. You can eat directly into your tummy. How would you wear to bite, normal You're shirts. trying to button your shirt yeah. and it, like bites your fingers. You just wear a midriff all well, can the you, time. Can you, you control your hang? demon faces? Yeah. Mm, I was no, assuming you could question. control them because it's yeah, it's part of you, right? That's a sub question for sure. I mean, just put them where the wiener and stuff goes. It's out of sight, out of mind, right? Oof. So you just pee out of its mouth? That's awful. <laughs> it would hate you. I don't think it's going to like you much stuff. anyway. <laughs> yeah. It is a demon face. Mm. Thanks, Rand. That was uh, that was good. Mike DeRosier, good movie this week. But don't get the husband sees his wife look like a demon, looks afraid of her, then all of a sudden everything's okay, and he hugs her and gets killed. Made Big time. Sense. Big time, Mike. It was the 70s. It was a weird plot moment there. Yeah. AJ, did you watch last week's movie? Uh, no, I haven't, but I will Ooh. watch it. It's AJ, on my... Dan Haggerty. Yeah. Just... Oh, He's not Dan, Dan Haggerty. Don't, rip don't off Dan Haggerty. Yeah. <laughs> budget Dan That's Haggerty. Right. Budget Dan Haggerty. <laughs> 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 high budget Dan Haggerty. That's just what I line up to watch. 
Yeah. It's like a Dan Haggerty Dan look alike. That's what it is. It's it's <laughs> it really was. It's close. You it's pretty close. He probably money. beat Dan Haggerty in a Dan Haggerty look alike contest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he probably Dan Haggerty would. gets all confused because he's so <laughs> fucking drunk. He's like, which one am I? <laughs> what? Who are you? <laughs> is that me? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he just has like an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, Joe McDonald, we have our final vote here. Uh, Chris can take Franklin. It's three, three for wow. three. Chris is my money's on here. you, Chris. Three and oh. I got you back. Can we stack Chris against? I'm not about beating a corpse. Yeah, I don't know. I think I could take yeah, this, a long this a week. I think it's figures. I think it's Chris versus Ray Liotta. I think it's Chris Ooh. versus Bamboo. <laughs> now, see, like I Chris think I can take Benjamin jungle. Franklin. Joe versus the volcano. Mm -hmm. Chris versus movie. the island. Like other historical figures. I think I could mm -hmm. take on um, what's that fucker who wrote all those horror movie or horror books about like Stephen Edgar, Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. I beat the shit out of that. Uh, fucking I face. think he wow. was like I think anybody, so. like an opium. Yeah, he was like yeah. so bad. Yeah. Oh, he well, here we go. Like Chris attack. is all together. Like I'm. All, I got everything all together going on. <laughs> Never <here>. more. <laughs> Yeah. Chris or David Spade? Telltale heart, Chris. Ooh. I can't beat the shit out of you. I don't I'm know. I think that's a fair. Like five three. Like I, I think just... that's a fair fight. I think his face would just annoy me, and I'd be like, "Oh God, go away! I don't want to fight you. I don't want my fist to touch your face." You might get stupid about like it. Susan B. Anthony. You gonna beat, beat up Susan B. Anthony? Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> she never did it. Yeah. Yeah, throw silver dollars at it. Tried oh to God. give women the right to vote. So <laughs> no, she did. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh Such an asshole. Such an asshole. <laughs> Take out all the suffragettes while you're at it. <laughs> I hope you're ready to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. That's so bad. <laughs> that does it for our listener feedback on Mausoleum. God, Chris. We've learned Chris is a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> let's, stick to, let's stick to fictional people. From but we on. agree <laughs> I would win, though. <laughs> Did Aaron just say Benjamin Franklin's a fictional person? No, I said we should stick to fictional people because otherwise we're going to get ourselves in trouble. Mm. Now, who would win in a fight, Chris or Paul Lilienthal? Wait, oh, you can't beat up women, Chris? No, it's a hypothetical situation where we get into fight. It, That's a you're, sexist you're, you're, comment, Taylor. No, it's not. You're yeah, because you're <laughs> applying that there is some sort of... Uh, there's there's no reason for it. It's just it is what it is. So Benjamin Franklin and I are fighting. Me and Abraham Lincoln are fighting. Me and Susan B. Anthony are fighting. It's just whoever the character. Susan B. Anthony has agreed yeah. to be in the yeah, fight. Exactly. It's consensual. It's like celebrity like, yeah. death match. Exactly. And I think I could take her. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yes, yeah, probably the last <laughs> podcast we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Going out on top. Oh my god! Wait, what do we got here? Warden Gordon. Chris, what's says, on the wheel for next to time? Is that I it, would... Spiff? That's it. I all already right, did my all outro. Right, all, right, <laughs> all, right. all right, let me pull up the wheel. Here we go. We're doing another Patreon wheel next week, guys. Oh, nice. Warden Gordon. Uh, yeah, that's good. Chris is Ulysses S. Grant, so. Oh, no, you're... no, no, he's, he's Martin Van Buren. That's no, right. he's not Martin Van Buren. <laughs> Is that good or Rutherford bad? Rutherford B. Hayes. No, god damn it. No. He's, he's <laughs> Adams. Yeah, oh. Adams. No. Yes. John Adams? No. Is no. it? No. He's just like no. Chris was? No. <laughs> no. Um, Benjamin Harrison? Who was no, the president. <laughs> no, he wasn't John Adams either. God damn it. Who were you? Who were I you, don't Chris? Know. He looks like a lot of them. Grover Gardner? Chester A. Arthur, you fuck. Chester A. Oh, Arthur. That's it. That's it. That's it. Chester Dead Copperpot. Chester A. Arthur. All those, pie, all those presidents that didn't. Did somebody say Chester Copperpot. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to do this. will fight this. Pocahontas. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, we got Paul's movie on there, finally. All right, we got Hack-A-Lantern. We got The Rage, which I'm really looking forward to. We got The Killer Eye. We got uh, Sorority Babe, Slime Bolt, Superama. We got Slime City, we got Mega Force, and we got Evil Speak. These are These all Patreon cool. picks. Pretty great. I'm you get excited. your movie on the wheel as well. Patreon.com slash Bad Movie Night Show. Um, so wheel. let's spin the wheel. Here we go. Spin. That's Pocahontas wheel. would kick spin. the shit out of him. Dump. We'll get out yeah, of here. Yeah, that.
Hack-a-lantern. I, I was Chris, really hoping with pumpkins? Was... <laughs> they like grow them. in the forest. Hey. No, I was just really hoping for the rage because it looks really yeah, good. Yeah, it looks cool. Rage does look this cool. will be fun, too. Hack-o-lantern. Okay, Speaking of trail. generic movies, this is... Geez. Wow, Spiv. Way to Maybe you should watch All it. All these slasher movies are the same. Oh, my God. They are. They are. Let's watch the trailer before we make any judgments. Here we I'm ready. go. Once I find it, here it is. The hour of fate has arrived. They've heard that movie <laughs> music and he's like, movie is weird. I'm into it. I'm Let's back do it. in. <laughs> is that Shout at the Devil, but like a bad version of Shout at the Devil? <laughs> back in it. Shout at the Pumpkin. Shout at the lantern. <laughs> um, Hack O' Lantern, which I think it's on two. I would guess 1984. 1988, Spiff. Oh, wow, it's prime not, time. Not bad, that Older, is. yeah. Um, a young man under the influence of his evil grandfather can only achieve manhood through a Halloween night murder. Spiff, just like you. Hmm. It's like high school maybe. all over again. You'll achieve manhood, Spiff. Your secret's safe with me, Spiff. This looks to be, like, just streaming everywhere. Tubi, Roku, Amazon Prime. No reason not to check it out. So you can yeah, I feel like this, nice. we should save this everywhere. for Halloween, but okay. Mm. The 1988 horror movie, Echo Lantern. That's right. Echo Lantern. We probably should be watching this at, uh, what's it called? Halloween. I literally Halloween. just said, hey, we should probably yeah, watch this during this Halloween. You know what would be a good idea? Watch no, Halloween. what? <laughs> oh, that's that a great idea. That requires planning, though. Yeah, that's fair. We don't do that here. Well, Chris does. We just sort of show up. <laughs> I've given up on everything. <laughs> I think we can all tell that at this point. The show sucks. Everybody hates me. I don't fucking like bamboo. <laughs> Gotta watch Aaron, pumpkin movie. Aaron, you got into my head there. That was creepy. I know. I channeled um, my inner Chris. We are, really good. <laughs> uh, the day. We, we are watching Hack a Lantern next week. Lindsay says she will be back. That nice. is exciting, guys. Uh, that's what we're doing next week. Uh, we thank, I think, I don't know who put this on the wheel, but thank you for doing that. Nick. And like I said, Nick put Hack a Lantern on the wheel. Oh, Hackland. I'm sorry, you not. Yeah, know. I don't know. I so, if you want to get your movie on the wheel, patreoncom slash Bad Movie Night Show, so and good. you can do that. Um, and that's it for this week's episode, guys. I don't. It, know it was Randy about. MC. It was Randy MC. Randy MC. Thank you, Randy nice. MC. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It looks pretty fun. I think it's going to be a great time. Better than this Ray Liotta shit show called No Escape. <laughs> Dude, the, your bar is all over the place. Bars everywhere. <laughs> There's just like no <laughs> rhyme or reason. No rhyme or reason. That's it, guys. That's, <laughs> yeah, I, I drank too much. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this week's episode, guys. We will catch you here next week when we check out Hack O Lantern. Goodbye. Bad Movie Night Podcast. 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 We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night.